Welcome to TK Drunk Kitchen. We are gonna do karate and chop up the dish. And it's gonna be super tasty. Let's get into it. I kinda know what we're gonna do. I saw this on Pinterest, it's called monkey bread. There's no bananas in it. And why is it called monkey bread? Dude, these are like leftover cinnamon rolls. Okay, so we got hella cinnamon rolls. And who doesn't like a roll made of cinnamon? Oh dude, I got, I got the best idea ever right now. Where's this dude? We're gonna have a smorgasbord of this stuff. This is a gingerbread cookie. Cookie dough is so good. It's like, even though every time you eat it, you risk getting super explosive diarrhea and stop the dog, it's always worth it. When in doubt, vodka it up. <clears throat> now whatever you put in your mouth is just, it's gonna taste good. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put all this in a bowl because drunk kitchen. What do you do when you're too drunk to really do things? You put them in a bowl. Are you guys ready? I hope I don't hurt myself because that'd be well. This will be on camera. I'm so glad I didn't use a knife because I would have just cut my finger off. Booyah! That was not. As dramatic as I thought it would be. So let's take a bunch of cookies and put them in the food processor and make shortbread. Now we're gonna cover the cinnamon rolls in shortbread. Now we're just gonna pile them in a thing and cook them in the oven and we'll shit in between it. Now I don't actually know if this is how you make monkey bread, but that's what I'm calling it. What do we got? Cinnamon Oreos, perfect. That'll go good with the cinnamon roll. Yo, why am I so lit right now? We're about to get turned on some crazy shit. Yo, this is some next level stuff right now. Breadcrumbs are for basic bees. We're gonna make, I don't know what we're gonna make, but we're just gonna put a bunch of cookies in this thing. This is called a food processor. Okay, let's see what just happened. There's a big, mm. oh my God. This is like crack. You just put milk in here and fuck your life up. Let's do this fam. I have a really bad feeling about this. Guys, like anything else when you're drunk, Always use protection. Even if it doesn't want to go on at first, you gotta make it go on. Having some difficulty here. Then we're gonna put them in here, like so. Now technically, I think you're supposed to cut these apart, but who's got time for that these days? We're just gonna take cookie dough and cram cookie dough in the spots. Cause it's, you can't go wrong with that idea, right? All right. Pecan pie filling, which goes good with cinnamon. This is like two million calories. I don't know if you guys are ready for this recipe right now. Put it in a jar, put it in your face. So this is our entire thing of monkey bread. We're gonna put it in the oven. Oh God, I might have burnt my hair. Did I burn my hair off? No, it's still there. Welcome back after this brief message from our sponsors. So we interrupt your program with regular stuff to bring you this message important from the sponsors. Today we're gonna learn how to make a pie. Step one, open the box. Step two, remove the pie. Step three, use something that's not scissors to open the pie. Step three, proceed to eat the pie. That's not working. Scoop the pie. Oh my God. Step four, eat the pie like a cookie. Mmm, this would have been a lot easier than making monkey bread. Well, this is delicious. Well, this has been a message from our sponsor. Pasta pie. All right, gang, so here's our finished product. Let's get it out on a cutting board. So this thing exploded, but let's see what it tastes like. Guys, I didn't think I was gonna say this. This is disgusting. It's just raw dough and sugar. So today we learned, if you come home drunk, just eat a pie, because this is a giant waste of time. I'm still gonna try and eat it though. 